Hey guys, this is Mike and you're watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. It is Saturday, June 2nd, 2018. I don't know where the time has gone, but it feels like the spring just, it feels like it didn't even happen. Uh, we've had so much wet weather here in PA on the weekends and, you know, before you know it, it's almost summertime. So, I'm continuing my wild trout series here today in Clearfield County, Pennsylvania. And this stream that you're looking at behind me, this is a stream by the name of Stone Run. It's a Class A rated wild trout stream. It's been surveyed by the state. It was on their list of uh, those several hundred streams that they have in that PDF online. And Stone Run is a tributary to Lick Run, which is then a tributary to the west branch of the Susquehanna River. Um, I took the water temperature when I got down here today. It was about 58 degrees, so it's pretty cold water. And boy, I'll tell you, this is probably the most effort I've ever put into getting to a trout stream. Um, first, it was hard to find a road to get access to this area. This is State Game Lands number 90 here in PA. And I found a road, and then just like last weekend, there was uh, access that was gated. So the only way in is by foot or by bicycle. And I ended up making the decision to hike in. So I've hiked about two miles on a state road and then I hiked about another 500 yards through the woods to cut down into this run. And I am standing now, as you can see, with the, uh, the red placard here on the tree. This is actually the boundary of where the state land butts up against, I guess, private property. Um, you know, on Google Maps, it's just one big green area. So like I've said before, if, if you look at Google Maps, you can't just see a green area and, and, and expect that it's all public. Uh, you have to actually understand where the state forest or state game land boundaries are. So that placard is a boundary. There's also uh, white paint on the trees coming down through the woods here that mark the boundary. So I'm going to start here at the start of the state game land property. And I'm going to work my way up through here. Uh, they are calling for rain today. I don't know if they're going to get a lot up here. I know down south there's a higher chance of thunderstorms. But... Uh, let me show you guys what I'm using and then we're going to go up here and see what kind of wild trout are hiding in Stone Run. Okay guys, I got the hatch back out here on the 8 foot 4 way G Loomis which I've been using here in this Brookie series. And also this nymph needs no introduction, it's my Psycho Prince pattern. Very bright purple and flash tied in, gets these Brookies attention. If it works, I don't change it. Just like if you find fish, don't leave them to go find other fish. That's my philosophy. It's tied on with 5X fuller carbon tippet going up to my lightning strike indicator and then a 9 foot 5X leader. And I am going to start right here on Stone Run at the boundary and work my way up, start working these pools and riffles, looking for the deeper plunge pools and still water to try out some parachutes today, parachute atoms. Let's see what we can do on Stone Run. There it is. Guys, these Psycho Prince Nymph patterns have been uh, working great for me. And, you know, first cast here, we got a brookie in the first pool, so hopefully it's going to be a good day here on Stone Run. Beautiful fish. Guys, I want to show you something incredible when I took the hook out of this brookie's mouth. Look at look at what's in here. That's all food, guys. Nymphs. Small things that are on the bottom of the creek here that this fish is just vacuuming up. That's incredible. Just amazing. Obviously, they're feeding well in here.
Beautiful brookie there, guys, taking that bright blue pattern. Guess it got his attention. Guys, those last couple of fish I caught, I changed up to this pattern I showed you in my last video. It's like a pheasant tail pattern. It's got a flashback. It's got blue tied into it with some blue flash dubbing and a gold bead head. Um, I just, I ran out of those other Psycho Prince nymphs and this was the flashiest, most attention getting thing I had in my box. Everything else was real natural, so. This is what I'm going to use here. If I uh, lose this fly, I'm probably going to go to a red version of this. Guys, this is another one of those brook trout you look at and you're just like, how can that be real? It's just, it looks like a painting. It's incredible. Look at that. It's just amazing to me. That's a nice looking brookie guys, a little, little bit better size there. This brookie was, he was pretty uh, energetic. Hanging right there in that soft spot behind that green rock.
Look how pink this brook trout is, guys. He's got just beautiful colors on his underbelly. Beautiful fish that was laying up there in that riffle. I put a prince nymph on, not the same one I started with, but a slightly different chartreuse color, and he took it. So they like those prince nymphs. Guys, I've been catching some beautiful brook trout here all day long. Uh, it's just amazing how these Pennsylvania streams are full of these fish. I mean, it's, you could just keep going and going and catching them. It's just, uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. Oh, there it is. Nice take. I don't know if that was the same fish that came up for the indicator or not, but... I'm really having a fun time doing this series and seeing the backwoods of Pennsylvania and chasing these native trout. Beautiful spot. Okay guys, I'm calling it a wrap here from Stone Run in Clearfield County, PA. It was a very productive day. Uh, I got to explore quite a bit of new water and uh, woods. And this stream just keeps going. Uh, if you look on Google Maps, it goes and goes and goes and there's just miles of water you can fish. And it has gotten more narrow, obviously, as I've headed closer to the headwaters upstream here. Uh, the lower half was beautiful. There were just some awesome runs and uh, deep pools and pockets down there. Uh, and caught some beautiful brook trout. The brook trout up here are slightly smaller in size as, as I get up here, but um, it's still been fun. And now I'm running out of daylight. I got to hike back to the road here, and then I got a two mile hike back from there. So I got to start before it gets late because I got to drive home too. But, uh, you know, it's nice being out here in the peace and quiet. You know, you come out to these streams, you don't have to worry about running into other people. You can just kind of work on your craft while listening to the water and search out these fish and get to know uh, how they behave and what they take. And, um, you know, again, I was more successful on the brighter flies. Um, anytime I try to use something natural, the, the hits were few and far between. I tried to use some natural caddis patterns and, and just didn't have uh, have the success. So I don't know what it is. You know, the brookies like something that, that's vibrant and gets their attention. And so that's what I stick with. 
and it's been working. So, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching Wooly Bugged. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed and you're new to watching the channel, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button for this video and then go subscribe because I'll have lots of new content coming as time goes on. And, um, you know, you get to watch solo uh, fly fishing here uh, in the backwoods of PA. So, we're blessed to have all this. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a uh, great rest of your weekend and a good week, and I'll catch up with you next weekend. See ya. My name's Mike from Wooly Bugged. This is my first opportunity to help out with Project Healing Waters. And uh, it, this is just an incredible event. I mean, it's, it's a real community of people. Uh, you know, it's the fly fishing community, which is a great community to start with, but to see them working with veterans like this um, and, and, and how much they care about helping these guys and, and turning them onto the sport of fly fishing. Um, I mean, it's a humbling thing to see and, and it's humbling to be a part of. So. Uh, I just feel blessed to be a part of it. Uh, we showed up here this morning. Um, I met a guy, never met him before, Jason. And, uh, you know, I got to take him out. He's, this is his third time fly fishing. Um, and by the end of the morning, this guy's throwing nymph rigs and catching trout on his own. So uh, it was just incredible. I mean, he caught double digits fish this morning and uh, he just had a smile on his face the whole time. So. You know, it's fun to go out and fish by yourself, but to be able to like give back in a way or, or help someone out, out and enjoy this, this sport that has become a passion of mine and all these other guys, it's just cool to be a part of. So uh, I can't say enough about the work that Project Healing Waters does, and I'm, I'm fortunate to be a part of it. So it's, it's an incredible experience.